What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about foundation. So last topic, we learned how to create a concrete masonry unit elevator shaft. So this time around, I'm going to teach you how to create an opening shaft. Okay, shaft opening. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a new project. So let me just quickly create a project here using a structural template so I just select OK alright and then after that I'll just go to the south elevation I'll just create a uh, level so you know already how to create level so I'm going to make this quick okay so I'm going to create let's say four levels okay so I don't need the analytical model all right so what I'm gonna do here is uh, going back to level one I'm gonna go ahead and create here a structural floor structural floor rectangular one so I'm just going to give an idea what is this uh, shaft opening does so I'm going to create this floor and then I select check okay now in the south elevation so I now have a floor here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy that copy so make sure that this one is multiple constraint so I'm going to pick the level so pick okay so I'm going to copy that copy copy alright so what I want to do is I want to create an opening on my floors here okay so let me just change the visual styles to shade it okay so I want to create here an opening so I want to use a shaft opening alright so to do that going back to my level one so what I'm gonna do is from the opening panel so there is a uh, tools here that you can use to create an opening by face by shaft uh, by wall opening by vertical opening and then dormer opening okay so what we are going to use here is shaft opening it creates a vertical opening that spans multiple levels cutting through intervening roofs floors and ceilings okay so we typically sketch the shaft on a host element such as floor and then you can move the shaft so as you can see there on the image so that is the shaft opening all right so I'm going to select the shaft here so click that and then from the model create shaft opening sketch contextual tab so you have two uh, option here so you need to create the boundary and then you also need to create the symbolic line if you want all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to quickly create a rectangle here so that's the shaft opening that I want for example all right so let's say this will gonna be 2000 as well there you go and then um, I want to put here a symbolic line okay so that symbolic line symbols the opening so I'm going to select this and then using the line tool I'm going to create a symbolic line here just a line okay that symbolizes my opening all right so on my uh, properties here for the property of my shaft opening so the base constraint here is level one and I do not want to have a base offset here so I'm going to make that zero because I do not want my level one to have an opening so let's say I only want the opening from levels two until level four so that's why on the top constraint here so I'm going to change this up to level 4 there you go anyway you can still change that later on so once you create the shaft opening alright so I'm now going to select here finish edit mode so let's select that one and there you have it so there's your shaft opening mm, I think it would be better to <laughs> create a line here square line okay so I'm going to select again the shaft opening and then I'll select sketch here edit sketch to go back to the shop opening editor so I'm going to select symbolic line and then I'll be using rectangle here to create the boundary for my symbolic line there you go and then let's uh, finish oops what's this so there is a line overlapping line 
Okay. Oh, I think it's because of the. Okay, so we don't need this. Hmm. I think we have no other way to. Okay, so I'll just create a line, a uh, peak line here. I'm gonna offset that by one. Okay, just to have a thickness. Oh, how about ten? Then, okay, so how about 100? Alright, so 100, so that's, oh, sorry, so it should be symbolic line, not boundary line. Okay, so let's delete that, so symbolic line, uh, peak lines. Mm, okay, so how about 50 for the offset? Okay, let's try out this one. Okay. Okay, so how about I'm going to stretch this one. So let's try out if this one will work out. Okay, so let's click. Click that. Click. Click. Alright. So let's finish it. Let's see. Alright. There you go. So that's the symbol of my uh, shaft opening. So if I'm going to open here the 3D view. So you will now see there. There's an opening, right? And if I'm going to hover my pointer to that area, so I will be able to select that shaft opening. Wherein, I can control here. Okay, I can specify base offset, top offset, so I can specify that. Or, I can just simply select the shaft opening and then I can control it. So let's say I want to create an opening here on level 1. So I just, I'll just click that one, move down, just like that. Okay. So I can click that. Alright, so no other elements that will be able to pass through this um, shop opening. They will be cut off. Okay? So that is what will gonna happen. Alright, so there is our opening now. Alright, so what we are going to do, let's try to apply this to the building that we are working on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'll just close this one without saving. Okay, so I'm going to open the creating shaft opening for our building. Okay, which is this one. So we are going to create here a shaft opening. So what I'm going to do is, um, let me just unload first the architectural model here. So instead of turning off the visibility graphic overrides for the link, so let's try to unload it. So let's unload the link. So you just uh, right-click that, and then there's an option here, unload. So that, oh, just select, uh, check, always unload the link, and then select OK. So that it will not only unload in the 3D view, but in the whole project. So your link model is now unload. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to open my level 1 here. So there's my level 1. So I'm going to create here my shaft opening. Okay, so to do that, so I'll go to the opening panel. So there's the shaft opening. So let's click that one out. So let's create a rectangle for the shaft opening. Just click that rectangle. So I'm going to create a shaft opening that will start to that corner up to this corner. Okay, and then after that, let's create a symbolic line. So I click that. So just a simple X mark. Right, so that's the symbolic line for the shaft opening. There you go. And then again, we can specify the setting here of our uh, shaft opening. So we can, okay, I'll just remove the base offset. I'll just make it zero. And then for the top constraint, I want to make it until the, uh, how about penthouse level. So I select that. There you go. Again, it's up to you if you want to modify the base constraint base offset, top constraint, and top offset, all right? So, unconnected height, you'll be able to specify the height here if you change the top constraint to unconnected, okay? So, there's the unconnected. If you select that, so you can specify here the height that you want, okay? But what I want is, I want to specify the level. So, I select the penthouse, so level 1 until penthouse, okay? So there you go. So I'm now going to select your finish edit mode. So just click that and there you go. There you have it. So we just created now our opening. So if I go to the 3D view, 
let's check it out okay so if I hover my pointer here I should be able to select the shaft opening oops where's my shaft opening there you go there's the shaft opening see shaft opening or if you're having a difficulty selecting your shaft opening one technique that I can teach you is that you can use like selection like this crossing selection like that from right to left and then you can use the filter so there's a filter here so you just click that one and then you will be able to see here the category that you have selected including the shaft opening so I'm going to select check none and then just select the shaft openings and then select OK there you go so you just selected the shaft opening all right so if you want to load back again the architectural model so what you can do is just right click and then reload from then select the architectural model double click and then it will now be loaded okay right okay so there you go so we now have an opening here on our uh, floor okay so basically that's how you create your uh, shop opening it's very simple the tool is here on the opening panel so there's the shaft opening so hopefully you learned something from uh, this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you in a second thank you for watching have a nice day